Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you have been here before you might notice that my room looks a bit different than it usually does and that's also the reason why I haven't been filming uh, videos or uploading videos in some time. That's actually because I moved into a new apartment and I had to set up a new studio to create my videos in and a lot of time went into the moving from where I lived with my parents uh, to here with my girlfriend. Uh, we spend a lot of weekends uh, shopping for all the furniture. Um, if you haven't been here, you're also welcome to my video and to my channel. I create videos about digital storytelling for small businesses, for entrepreneurs, for content creators who want to work for businesses. So if you want more content around this topic, then please go and check out my YouTube channel. But for this video, I want to talk about my new studio. I want to talk about how to set up or design your, your own YouTube studio or your own video room or a setting where you want to film videos in. And uh, this might be a bit different from digital story time, but it actually has to do with it completely because the backdrop that you make videos in, the backdrop for all of your, of your pictures on social media, online, will also tell a story about who you are as a person. And that's why I want to start this video by telling how important it is to think about the backdrop of your videos because it gives away a bit of your personality and gives away a bit of your your business whether you have a logo already or not or if you have a website you might know that you have to have something consistent so people will recognize you and the same goes for your videos if you have a backdrop drop in your uh, videos which is really really messy if you have a cleaning company then that doesn't uh, look good on video and that might be obvious but it's in the small details so that being said let's go to the first practical advice on how to set up your youtube studio or youtube room and the way that i worked to get this room looking like this is actually first Thing I thought about was lighting and that is because this is a very small room and I have a big window in front of me and I like to work with natural light so that's why I want to have this desk here uh, all of my videos before whenever I was in Barcelona when I lived in Bilze uh, I always had I always create my videos in front of a window and use the natural lighting. So I want to do this here as well. Then I needed to think about how can I uh, enhance the lighting in this room. Um, so I used this, I used this newer light uh, for having a bit more lighting on my face. This gives a bit more light to my desk. It doesn't do that much, but it just accentuates the front of the desk a bit more, giving that a bit more of an orange tone uh, and giving me a bit more of an orange tone as well. So back here in this box there are some Christmas lights and then I have a blue LED strip here and I also have some blue uh, U-light here uh, on top of the shelf that gives a bit of a blue background and the blue is actually uh, for two reasons it's more of a teal color and uh, you might have seen it in other videos but that orange which this light gives a bit more of an orange light and the teal uh, backdrop um, is actually something that is used in Hollywood movies as well uh, it enhances the skin color um, it gives you more of a cinematic look and uh, the colors work perfectly together because they are on the opposite side of the color wheel um, but also uh, my logo is blue uh, that's also why I have this uh, cup with the blue uh, top here uh, it's just it fits my brand the blue light and that's why I wanted to use this blue it also gives a bit more character to the apartment uh, I have this uh, white uh, walls here and I actually can't paint the walls that's why I also want to play and paint with light a little bit to give it a bit more of a character than it has at the moment but 
the most important things about setting up your YouTube and the lighting is that you need a main light that focuses on your face. Maybe uh, also a, back, a light on the side that gives you a bit more, uh, gives your face a bit more of an even glow if your light as here is a bit more on this side. This side uh, balances that out. Um, the light in the background also is used to, uh, to have me pop out of the background a bit more as well. Uh, so that's it for the lighting. So when you know how to set up your desk and how to set up your lighting, then it's time to think about setting up your camera. I have the camera in front of me on a tripod. Um, it's on a lower angle because uh, in, my, in my other studio, uh, a lot of people told me when I was giving courses that I use my hands a lot. And then in my other videos, in my other studio, sometimes my hands weren't visible and it was a bit uh, strange to see me moving my hands without actually seeing my hands. So that's why I chose to have a bit of a lower angle. Um, I'm using the Canon EOS R uh, because I'm also into photography. It's a more, bit more expensive camera, but I actually also used this camera before, which is the Canon uh, 200D. It's a bit of an older camera, and actually it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, because it's a bit older, you can get it for sheeps, I think, around $500, maybe even less. Maybe this, these days even $400. So this camera, really, definitely, I would uh, check this camera out if you are looking for a beginner camera. I have the Canon ESR. Then you have to think about the lens that you're using. I'm using the 2405 millimeter lens, and I actually have set it on 24 millimeter. Uh, the reason for this is that my room is actually quite small and if I use a, another lens like for instance a prime lens of 50 millimeters I could get a bit more uh, depth of field in my background but I actually uh, decide to go with this 24 millimeter lens um, because otherwise the, the room would be more even look smaller than it is and I couldn't get any everything in off in the back in the background uh, because I don't have that much space in front of my desk to put the camera. I want to be as close to the window as possible to use that natural light. So that's why I use the wide angle lens uh, on this camera to also benefit from this natural light because I can sit uh, closer to the camera in this way. If you have a 50 millimeter lens, you have to be a bit more backed down and then I wouldn't have, I couldn't use that natural light coming out of the window. Okay, so now that we have lighting, we have set up the camera, it's also important to think about which microphone we are going to use. And I'm just using a shotgun mic because I'm actually quite close to the camera. If you would be a bit further away, if you choose to use a bit more of a zoom lens, then you could think about using a level here mic, but I'm just using a shotgun mic. I have the Rode Video Micro, which is, which is the cheapest uh, Rode uh, microphone that you can find. But I actually think the sound quality of it is quite good. So now we have talked about uh, why it's important to think about how you organize your setting, your backdrop. We talked about the lighting, we talked about setting up the camera, we talked about the microphone. It's actually time to decorate the, uh, the room. And decorating it is also thinking about uh, filling in the space a little bit because an empty room uh, might sound a bit echoey. Uh, I have a bit of an echo here as well, uh, but that is also because I don't have curtains yet. And these corners, I think there is a lot of uh, sound bouncing back. Uh, the uh, curtains are still coming, but these curtains, the, the fabric of it, will also absorb some of the sound. And actually a good one is also I have these white transparent drapes that I ordered. And this these will also help me when it's very sunny outside and the sun will come directly into the window. These will also diffuse 
uh, the light a little bit so that's an extra tip for lighting the reason why this is perfect that there is a cabinet here is also because this fills in a bit of the empty space and will also will take care of not having too much echo uh, and so decorating your space and having some stuff in the background is not only to make it look beautiful but also to take away a bit of that echoey sound that you will get inside of a room. But about decoration, this is actually the only thing and that frame over there are only the only two things in my room to showcase a bit of my personality. So on top of here I have a plant I really love uh, love plants uh, you should see the living room we bought a lot of plants I also have a small uh, succulent plant here um, I actually don't know what the name is uh, of this plant but I, I liked it so I bought it uh, then I have this sign here at the moment it says tell your digital story now uh, and that's just to showcase what my uh, YouTube channel is about and then I have this box here, just I like the wooden character of it, it uh, goes well with my desk and it also for the slides I thought this would look perfect in the background uh, because it gives it a bit more of an industrial look. Uh, then I have the Google Home uh, right here, um, just so to showcase that I'm doing something about digital uh, the digitalization of the society and this is why i also wanted to showcase and then in the background i have this frame that i bought at ikea i'm actually thinking of putting a picture of my own in it uh, but i'm not sure yet i actually do like the print that is in it the print also comes from ikea it's with the car uh, and if you're not familiar with uh, who I am as a person. I used to work as a car mechanic um, for eight years before going studying again and going into digital marketing and it also is a bit of a throwback to my uh, my history as a car mechanic and that's also why I like to have this car in the background and that's pretty much it. Do you like the setup of my new YouTube room? Uh, if you have any comments on the setup of it if you have any more uh, things to say if you have your tips uh, something that I forgot in this video on how to set up your YouTube room please I'm happy to listen to you um, we all need to learn I'm watching YouTube videos all the time uh, I'm not going to say that I'm an expert in this field and that I know everything because everybody can learn from other people and you have to keep an open mind. So please leave something in the comments and if you haven't done yet, please also subscribe to my channel. And if you liked this video, I would really be honored if you liked this video and the more likes I get, the better this video does and the better I can tell my digital, digital story to all of you. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.